Okay, guys, this is a question from March 18, 1962. It says the selection of three letters. So you need to underline it. How many letters you are basically uh, going to have, okay? So we need to have three letters and there is a selection, okay? A selection of three letters from the eight letters of the word collider is made. How many different selections of three letters can be made if there is exactly one L? Okay, so this means that um, uh, since you're going to choose three letters, so one L is already there. So now I'm going to um, cancel out these two L's now. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now all these six letters are different and I need to have two more from them. So my answer would simply be six C two, that's it. Because this letter is already with me. So I need two more letters. So this will be six C two. Some of you might think that we have to choose one of these two L's. Please don't think like that. The letter L's, uh, both of these letters are same. So what about choosing any one of these two parts? Okay. So this indirectly means choosing two out of the remaining six cards over here. So that is going to be six C2. If it's clear, I'm going to move on to the second part. Okay, no one asking. So that means it is clear. Okay, so I'm going to remove all this. How many different selections of three letters can be made if there are no restrictions? Okay, you see there are three marks for this now. Three marks. So how many different selections of three letters can be made if there are no restrictions? Hmm. So this means the selections can have one, of the letters L, it can have both the letters L, or it can have no letter L there in these selections, okay? So if there is, if the selection of three letters contains one letter L, then this is going to be, as I told you, that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, C2. If you have both the letters L, then it means you just need one more, 6C1. And if you have no letter L there, so that means you need three letters out of the six letters, this is gonna be 6C3. So you add all of them, that is 6C2 plus 6C1, plus six C three. So we have to, we had to do all this because of the, the letter L repeating, getting repeated over here. If there was just one letter L over here, so your answer could be like, if, suppose if there was just one letter. So these, the answer to the second part would be simply seven C three. Okay, now let me see what do we have in the third part of this question. If, if there is really a third part, let me see. Um, okay. If I have the third part. Okay, no, there is no third part. There were just two parts of this question. So let's go on to the next paper then. So here is our next question from March 19 and paper 62. So you must give it a try before I tell you how to do this. Okay, the next question from this uh, March 19. So uh, you must have tried it. Uh, it says uh, find the number of different arrangements that can be made of all nine letters in the word camera man. Let's look at this very carefully that how many of the letters are getting repeated. We have, uh, uh, there is this C is one C and then I have A. There is one, there are three A's, okay. And M's, do I have more than one M? Yes, I have two M's. And then I have E, 
there's one E, then I have R, there is cameraman one R, and then we have N, okay. And that is one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four, six, yeah. So we have nine letters. So you, you must make sure okay, all these add up to nine, okay. Now there are no restrictions. We have the number of different arrangements. So we have to use all of them. So this would be nine factorial divided by three factorials for the three A's times two factorial for the two M's, okay? I'm moving into the second part. If there is anything that you need to ask, please get it clear. In the second part, I have been told to keep A at the first place. And then at the fifth place, and then at the ninth place. So A's are fixed over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have these nine positions, places over here. So don't think about arranging them. These are A's, they have been fixed over here, okay? Uh, now we have six slots, which have, have to be filled with the six remaining letters. So this should be six factorial divided by two factorial, divided by two factorial. Remember this two is for the two M's because you know, just imagine that these blocks are filled. There's no need to worry about these blocks. The so first, the fifth and the ninth position. Okay, this so is six factorial over two factorial. Moving on to the third part, there is exactly one letter between the M's. So there are two M's. So I'm going to make a block. So this is like this. So wherever the M's go, they have one letter between them. Okay, so I'm going to make it um, a block like this, okay? Now suppose if they have the letter A between them, okay? So this means this is one block over here. And then how many more blocks we need to have? We need to have six more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and this is gonna be six, okay? So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven factorial over two factorial. Plus, if you have a non-A between them, okay? This is, um, M here, this is M here, okay. And now we have anyone other than this A. I'm writing this A dash. So now these are going to be your remaining six blocks, okay? Remember these six blocks, we have uh, three A's there. We have three A's there. Okay, so this would be, uh, we have one, two, three, four non-A's, okay? So this would be four, let me use another color. We have four C1, wait for the people who is there in the chat. Hello. Sorry, uh. sir. Okay, this is 4C1 for the non-A's. Uh, one of those non-A's can be over here, okay? And then we have these uh, six being arranged here, okay? So that is going to be six plus this one, okay? That is seven factorial. And then we have three A's in them. So this plus this, 
that is your answer one of you please check your answer and then we can debate about it This is five eight eight zero. Please, you must have questions. This is not something that could be understood so easily. Yeah, you must have questions, beta. If you don't have any question, I can believe this that you have understood this question so easily. Hmm? Sir, I don't understand ke, uh, why there's a non a hum add kare equation. You see, whenever you have such situations where uh, you have, let me first keep that question in front. This is the seventh question, na? Yeah, this is the seventh question here. Yeah. But uh, whenever you have, uh, like, you know, letters being repeated or the characters being repeated, you have to think this much. To respond to these questions, I was telling you that whenever there is a repetition of the letters of the characters, you have to be careful. You see, it says there is exactly one letter between M's, so the letter between M's can be A, since there are more than one A. So you have to uh, classify your whole data into A's and non-A's. Okay, so when you have kept an A over here, there is no problem. That means two, the other two A's. Would would be among these these over here, okay? So uh, this means that these six one two three four five six and this one block six plus one is seven, so seven factorial, and then there is two factorial because of the two letters two a's over here in this area. So that was seven factorial over two factorial. If it is clear, then I can tell you about this non-A thing. Is it clear how we be, we're getting this seven factorial over two factorial? Yes, sir. Okay. Now uh, we have to keep a non-A between these two M's, and all the three A's go into this area now. Okay. So this non-A could be any one of these four: one, two, three, four. So we have to choose one of these four, okay? So that is why I have four C1 here. Any one of those four can be fixed here, okay? And then the remaining uh, three non-A's and the three A's are going to be over here. So this is gonna be seven factorial over three factorial. This three factorial is for the three A's. And that is how you get this 5,880. If it's clear, I can move on to the next question. Now, the next question is from June or two, and uh, it, it used to be the paper six at that time. Now you will have the paper five, okay? P paper five, two or five, one, depending on your re region. Now, this is uh, the fifth question. You will again try it yourself, and then I'll tell you about it. Okay, uh, the first part. The first part was uh, a simpler one. And it says, um, since there are seven digits over here, okay, and there are two twos being repeated here, okay, so be careful about them. It says, uh, how many seven digit numbers we can make if there are no restrictions. So the first part's answer is seven factorial over two factorial. Now this two factorial is because of those two twos. Now in the second part, it says, uh, the digits one, three, seven are next to each other. So we're going to make a block of these three letters here, okay? So these, I'm not going to put them inside here because uh, they can be in, in any order. So one, three, seven are going to be inside these three blocks. And then you have uh, four other blocks. One, two, maybe one can be here, two, the other can be here. Now these are the other four blocks where you have the digits two, two, six, and eight, okay? So this means First of all, you have five factorial because this is one, two, three, four, and five factorial times three factorial for these three, okay? And then over two factorial because of the two twos. So is, is that clear to you? So this is five factorials times three factorial over two factorial? Yes? One of you was saying that it has, there has to be two factorial 
is it clear now that we we can't have the two factorial up yes, here sir. okay good next it says uh, that these all these numbers the seven digit numbers they have to be even so this means we have a condition here okay so we can have um, 2 6 4 8 now since this 2 is being repeated so i'll keep a 2 fixed over here okay and now we have six digits over here so this would be when you have fixed a 2 over here this is going to be six factorial simply six factorial plus or then you fix if you can fix any one of these two you can have 6 or 8 over here so this is going to be 2 p1 or 2 c1 times now this 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial because there are two twos over here so the answer has to be 6 factorial plus 6 factorial over 2 factorial please can someone check the answer uh, there is 2 p1 with this as well 2 p1 yeah there has to be 2p1 as well and what is the answer now yes come on yaar sir 1440 1440 1440 and did you check your answer as well sir okay the answer is correct so if are there any questions mm -hmm. if not it means you have understood this and i'm finishing the session over here and let's move to another session for the past paper questions